a neighborhood supermarket in Tokyo. A lively voice calls out to customers. Welcome, welcome! Something unusual is happening here. From this day, purchases of butter have been restricted. We've had to limit the amount of butter people can buy. We can't procure any butter. This is all the supply they have for the next month. And there's been no word on the next shipment. The reason? A sudden shortage of milk. What's happening? We visited a large farm in the dairy country of Hokkaido. Green Hills raises about 1,700 dairy cows and is Hokkaido's top milk producer. But many farmers are giving up and quitting as soon as they find their operations aren't making sense economically. That's why the demand supply balance is breaking down. The heat waves of recent years may be another reason. The recent weakening of the yen has made imported feed more expensive and pushed up production costs, squeezing farm operations and forcing many to leave the agricultural field. What's more, successive heat waves have affected the health of cows, causing mammary gland infections and other ailments. Mammary gland infections, in particular, reduce milk production, with economic losses for the whole of Hokkaido said to reach 10 billion yen, or $85 million annually. Amid this, a certain feed is attracting attention. These are used coffee grounds. They're said to strengthen the cow's immune system, so that's why we're using them as feed now. Feed made from used coffee grounds. This farm started mixing them in with other types of feed and giving them to their cows from April. The result? There's been a clear decline in cases of mammary gland infections. Coffee grounds contain polyphenols, which have been shown in studies to strengthen the immune system of cows and improve the milk quality. Through word of mouth, more farmers heard about the method and began using this feed. The used coffee grounds for this feed are actually supplied by Starbucks. Starbucks operates about 1,000 shops across Japan. Until now, the 7,000 tons or so of used coffee grounds produced every year were incinerated. But starting last year, they launched a full-scale recycling initiative. Early in the morning, chilled products such as milk and sandwiches are delivered to a shop. At the same time, the used coffee grounds produced by the shops are collected. Collection and transport of industrial waste typically requires government approval. Starbucks is able to do this as it has been certified under a food recycling loop scheme. A prefab structure stands in the parking lot of a factory. This is where used coffee grounds from Starbucks are turned into feed. One shop produces two to three of these. Try holding it. Each bag is about seven or eight kilograms. Shops write their identification numbers on the bags, so we know exactly how many they produced. The used coffee grounds are first put through a sieve to make sure there are no other materials. Mixed with lactobacillus and other ingredients, 
there are left to ferment for one to two weeks. Mold can form, so preventative measures are taken from the moment the grounds are received from the shops. They're covered with vinegar and sealed so there's no air contact. Starbucks currently collects coffee grounds from 190 shops. But because of the sharp increase in demand for feed, they plan to expand the program to about 500 shops, or half of the entire chain. The loop scheme will allow us to secure stable supplies of milk directly from farmers. Feed borne from used coffee grounds is helping to protect the health of cows.